بالقرآن اهتدي في رحبه تحل الحياة شوقا إلى المولى أتاي أسلمت روحي للإله Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Ramiz Ibrahim on the lakes of, uh, where are we, in East London, Whips Cross. I'm from a Turkish background, Turkish Cypriot. My parents are from Cyprus. They came here in the 60s. What else can I say? I mean, when I was 18, I went to Turkey for four to five weeks, and my uncle there, he taught me Al-Fatiha, where, um, I saw a class and I went to Jumu'ah with him, but not praying five times, just Jumu'ah in Turkey. He took me, he went to Istanbul, he took, showed me the Hagia Sophia, the blue, all the masajid there. Uh, I came back and that was it, no more Islam, yeah, no, no more prayer or nothing, Jumu'ah, until I was until tw 27, 28 years old. I went to Cyprus, I came back, went to America. That's where I found Yaqeen in Allah SWT, like the certainty in Allah SWT when I was 29, going on 30. At night time, I would wash, I would sit, and I would talk to Allah SWT. I say, Allah, I know you exist. I know you exist. But you have to show me the way. Yani, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can see with this, but I can't see with this. this I need this to open up. Allah. So I said, I, I, I want to submit now. When I started reading the Quran, there was a masjid opposite my father's shop. For 15 years, I didn't enter that shop. I didn't go to the masjid. But when I started you know, the calling and how I felt, I read the Qur'an and I just started to pray. There will come a time in your life where you will have to contemplate on the rest of your life. But one day something will happen and make you think. You may, get, you may get cancer, you may have a car accident that will leave you, you know, in a situation where you can't walk, maybe not talk, God forbid, Allah will give you long life so that you can seek the truth. But one day you're going to contemplate yourself, where is the rest of my life? Where is the rest of my life going? So pick up the Qur'an, find out for yourselves. Now all those of you are saying that, oh, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in a God. That's not a problem, because you're, that's, not, that's not a problem. But the one that you say you don't believe in, believes in you, because you will have to meet him one day, and you're going to have to have accountability to him, whether you believe it or not. True friends help each other. But being in a Muslim brotherhood, you know, if I make a phone call, if I need a brother at 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, they'll be at my doorstep to help me. And that has happened before, and I'm talking through experience. Alhamdulillah. Umar al-Khattab radiallahu anhu used to seek Sahaba to sit down to increase the Iman. You have to do the same. But you can't go to anybody. I only have a few people, maybe two or three, that I can sit with, and my Iman will grow and my yaqeen Allah will grow, my firm until Allah will grow and be strong and keep strong. So you have to have the strength in order to find good company to sit with, to, to give you good iman and good deen and give you yaqeen and make you strong. You have to know which friend it is. People that want to be happy, they're seeking it in wrong ways. Even in, even in Islam, Muslims are seeking happiness wrong way. Don't seek happiness, you seek contentment. You're eating. You're drinking, you're sleeping, you have a roof over your head, roof over your head, that's it. 